Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and I'm gonna do a episode review with the second a review of the second episode of The Flash, the fastest man alive. So this episode starts off with, well, actually, you know what? Forget it. You know, I've I've done these reviews, these episode reviews, and I just basically tell you exactly what it is. But I'm not reviewing it. I'm just telling you what's happening in the video, and giving some thoughts on it. Why don't we do something a little different for this video? I will tell you guys some of the main points of it, and we can talk about some future things. So, let's not call it a review. Let's call it a sesh, if you will. That's a nice little sesh. Talking about the Flash episode 2. So, of course, it'll be somewhat of a review. Um, but for those of you who haven't seen it, it's going to be a spoiler review. I guess that's basically what I've been doing. That's the, I just brought, you know, I was just brought to my attention that I'm basically spoiling the whole episode for you guys. I don't want to do that. So, um, I'll just start off. Basically, in this episode, there is... We see a lot of flashbacks, and there's some a lot of things that remind me of Arrow in this episode. You know, some doubts here and there. And I feel like... They've really kind of recreated Arrow in a different version, pretty much. But that's... I mean, not, not really. I think this episode, this season shows a lot different. But basically, um, Caitlin, um, she is kind of doubting Barry and doesn't think he's ready to not ready to do this. And he's just, you know, he's a lab experiment, basically. That's what everyone's saying. And that, except, you know, for Cisco. And Harrison Wells, they're encouraging him to fight, but um, the officer, uh, detective, detective, and Caitlin, they, neither one of them think that Barry should be doing this and he's just going to get himself killed. And then there's, you know, the usual, there's the usual, um, flashbacks like you've seen from Arrow. So that's always your usual, you know, your usual stuff um, with the DC TV shows. Except for Gotham, but for this, like, in this uh, TV universe, you should expect flashbacks from every show. Except from Constantine also. Which, by the way, I'm not going to be doing Constantine. I thought the show would be different, but after seeing different, many different trailers and part of the first episode, it just reminded me of, like, a weird exorcism or paranormal activity like DC version. Um, so, I'm not a huge horror guy, and I don't purposely watch horror things, unless it's, like, a really good movie that gets a lot of stars, or if I'm going with a friend. Um, so, you can, don't be expecting Constantine reviews from me, um, but I'll rec rec recommend Charlie from Emergency Awesome, he does reviews on pretty much everything, and most likely, if you f are watching this video, or, um, you know, subscribe to me, you're probably already subscribed to him, so then you'll be getting that, those reviews from him. Alright, so, there's multiplexes in this episode, and that's pretty cool to see. We get, we're getting another metahuman, and um, you gotta kind of get excited seeing these different metahumans, because you don't, know who, you don't really know who's going to pop up. Except I do know something that you guys are going to get probably a little pumped about, and you probably might already know, but, um... The cousin of Stephen Amell, he, who plays Arrow and Oliver Queen in the Arrow TV series and Injustice, the game, um, his cousin, Robbie Amell, he was in like the remake of the Scooby Doo movies. The first one was alright, but um, not the point. He um, is going to be in The Flash. So the cousin of him. They kind of look alike if you look it up side by side. But he's going to be playing Firestorm. Now you're thinking, what? Firestorm? 
How can they recreate that? Did you ever think they would do multiplex on a TV show? Firestorm is an insane character, and he's really, really cool. So, Firestorm's coming in episode 3. And um, I'm kind of excited for that, especially because it's Robbie and Mel's, or uh, Stephen Mel's cousin. And Robbie and Mel is, is probably, is, if he is as good as Stephen and Mel in his role, then I'm gonna be really happy. So, you know, you gotta get ready for that. Um, I don't know if he'll have, like, the flaming head. I mean, maybe he will, or I think he's just gonna have hair that's just slightly on fire and kind of orange. That's about it. So, yeah. Um, but I'm really getting ready for that. So that's gonna be another metahuman. It's obviously gonna probably work with um, Barry Allen and his team, but I, I don't know. I don't really know the story. He is kind of a major character for Justice League. So I think that they're sort of building some sort of mini Justice League here, you know? I know Black Canary was shot in the end of the season, end of season two of Arrow, but some, something tells me she's not going to be dead. Maybe she is, maybe she's not. I don't know. I mean, if she is, then they're going to kill kill this all off. But whatever they're doing, I don't know if you've noticed this, but... They're kind of, do, you know, in the Batman v Superman movie, and in, I mean, listen to the characters, they're do, you're bringing in, hey, Superman, we got Batman, we got Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg. So those are the ma- pretty much the major characters of the Justice League, some of them, but you're missing Flash, and you're missing Green Lantern, and Black Canary, and I guess Green Arrow, because he's at times, you know, he's been a major member. And you're missing other people, you know, other guys too. So, um, but that's, that's a lot of Justice League you're missing. And Firestorm, of course, and, you know, always some of these other heroes. Uh, Shazam, but they're doing a Shazam movie, which may or may not be in their universe. But you get my point. They're they're sort of built. Something tells me that eventually, Hal Jordan's gonna either appear on Flash, most likely Flash. I wouldn't put my money on him appearing in Green Arrow because I feel like Green Arrow's focusing on some of the minor, like not minor, but the secondary members of the Justice League. Like Wildcat's gonna be on there and Manhunter, but he's a bad guy. But you can kind of see that, like, they're doing, like, Deathstroke's a major villain, but they're, they brought him in in a sort of a small way. So, I'm um, back to Flash, though. So, Firestorm's coming, but all these different metahumans. And, um, I don't know, you see the flashbacks of Barry just wanting to see his father, and his father not really wanting to see him. And they're still, like, remember how... You saw Arrow, or I'm sorry, Arrow, you, when you saw The Flash, the first episode last week, and you were like, and you were thinking, oh man, it's going to be just as good as Arrow, and then you see it, and then you're like, hmm, I think Arrow's a little better, but this show's pretty good, and then you see at the very end when Harrison Wells rolls into a secret room, and then he actually, is, he can just, he knows how he can walk, so he stands up, walks over to this platform and get, looks in, and see into the future and sees that Barry Allen, the Flash, in like April 2025, something like that, and he just smiles, then you're like, nope, never mind, it's, it's just as good as Arrow. Well, that's what, this week it would seem just as good as Arrow, so just a little bit different, you know? the way they're executing it, but, um, the thing about Flash is that he doubts himself way more than Green Arrow, and, you know, I guess Green Arrow is more confident, because he's, one, he's older, and two, he's had more experience, but, um, I don't really know what else to say, Flash is a pretty big character, and I hope they do some really nice stuff with him, um, I'm gonna be covering the rest of the Flash and Green Arrow stuff, so, be expecting some more stuff from them. 
from uh, here. Turn the number to click, share, like, subscribe. Pretty much all for this video. Um, I'm Ryder, and keep riding.